Hello everyone! Uh, after 1972 Bobby Fischer didn't really play any more chess and uh, well there are very few published games after 1972 uh, that Bobby Fischer played. Uh, he did have that match rematch against Boris Spassky in 1992 uh, but other than that uh, not really and uh, uh, this is a match played between uh, Fischer and the Greenblatt computer. Uh, it was played in 1977 so five years after Bobby became world champion and uh, Fischer sent uh, three of the games he played against uh, the Greenblatt computer uh, to be published and uh, well in uh, all three games he crushed the computer. Uh, later it was said that the, the computer was uh, rated around 2100 and uh, Fischer claimed that he could uh, without without a problem give odds to the computer. So let's see this is uh, this is game one and uh, Fischer is playing with the white pieces. Uh, Fischer goes e4 and the Greenblatt computer replies e5. We have f4 the king's gambit, uh, e captures on f4 and Fischer plays bishop to c4. Uh, the bishop's gambit of the king's gambit and the uh, fisher said that uh, well probably the computer would have played queen to h4 check uh, but um, it didn't it played the d5 and so fisher said that it obviously did have some opening theory uh, pre-installed uh, in the program so fisher played bishop captures on d5 and now knight to f6 attacking uh, the bishop and d4 pawn uh, knight to c3 and we have bishop to b4 and uh, knight to f3 uh, green black computer castles and uh, Fisher also castles and we have knight captures on d5 uh, Knight captures on d5 now Fisher is attacking this bishop on b4 and we have bishop to d6 and d4 And well as you can see Fisher has pretty much everything white white would hope for uh, when playing the king's gambit uh, He has both of his uh, central pawns uh, He's preparing to push e5 to grab the f4 pawn and well all, all is well uh, for Fisher and well here here the computer had a couple of options it could have played knight to c6 maybe bishop to g4 uh, rook e8 is an idea uh, but it, it played g5 uh, which allows uh, Fisher uh, a nice tactic uh, Fisher plays knight captures on g5 uh, queen captures on g5 and now e5 now uh, blocking this bishop's defense uh, of this f4 pawn so uh, here the computer doesn't retreat with the bishop it plays uh, bishop to h3 now threatening checkmate on g2. So Fisher defends this rook to f2 and uh, we have bishop to e5. Bishop captures pawn on e5. And uh, why didn't the computer try to try to save his uh, extra piece? Well, uh, it, it that would have been a big blunder actually. If bishop to e7, uh, then bishop captures on f4 by Fisher and uh, after the queen moves g3. And the queen can no longer keep an eye on this bishop on e7. So after queen to g4, uh, you get knight captures on e7 with check, king to h8, and now bishop to h6. And after the exchange of queens, queen captures on d1, rook captures on d1, uh, there is no way to defend the rook on f8, because if the rook moves, uh, you get rook captures on f7. And now Fisher would be threatening checkmate here on g7, so the rook would have to go back, rook g8, and now still a bishop to g7 check. And after rook captures, uh, rook to f8 check, rook g8, and rook captures on g8 checkmate. So the computer didn't really uh, have, have a hard time calculating this, so after this rook to f2, uh, it didn't try to save the bishop, it played bishop captures on e5. Uh, we have d captures on e5, and now c6, uh, trying to get rid of that knight. Uh, but Fisher, of course, first plays bishop captures on f4, uh, we have queen to g7, and now knight to f6 check. Uh, only move if you don't want to lose the queen is king to h8, and now Fisher plays uh, queen to h5. Uh, with uh, with a lot of ideas. Bishop to h6 is an idea, capturing the bishop on h3 is an idea, and uh, defending the bishop isn't really possible. If you move the bishop, bishop to e6, you get a bishop to h6, and now the queen can no longer defend the rook on f8. Uh, so after this queen to h5 move, uh, Greenblatt computer plays uh, rook to d8. Uh, we have queen, to, queen captures on h3, now uh, Fisher is up a piece, uh, as the, these were the golden days when you could play against the computer and be up a piece. It's something uh, unimaginable today uh, when you're playing against an engine. Uh, we have knight to a6 and rook to f3. Fisher is preparing rook to g3. Uh, so queen to g6, now eyeing this c2 pawn. And well, rook to g3 is winning here. Uh, I mean, uh, this is crushing for white, but uh, Fisher, I guess, he wants to make fun of the computer. He plays rook to c1. 
as uh, kind of defending the c2 pawn uh, but actually what Fisher did is uh, uh, he cut off every square uh, for the black queen there is no more squares for the black queen uh, as rook g, rook g3 is coming and well queen is covering f5 knight is covering e4 and now this pawn is covering d3 so the computer didn't really uh, have a resign button installed so the computer played uh, a king to g7 we have rook to g3 now the queen is pinned uh, rook to h8 and uh, Fisher plays a queen to h6 with with checkmate as uh, the king cannot capture the queen is defended by the bishop and the queen cannot capture the queen as the queen is pinned from the rook on g3 and uh, Fisher said that uh, although it wasn't a very uh, Fisher said that it was a weak computer that it could give it a great odds and still win uh, but uh, Fisher said that uh, the greatest uh, thing about playing this computer is that it didn't resign it allowed Fisher to to execute uh, his checkmate idea so yeah uh, this is the game there are two more games Fisher played against the green blood computer uh, if you enjoyed this game I, I, I'll, I'll maybe post the other two so yeah uh, that's it for this game I do hope you enjoyed it uh, I would like to thank Raul Da Silva and Alexander Regal for your contribution to my channel I really appreciate it thank you and uh, yeah as usual you can check two of my previous videos here Thank you all for watching and uh, I'll see you soon.